Hey everyone, welcome back. So, as you can see, we're at home today. And there's a reason for that. We've been spending a lot more time at home. There's a, a lot of travel restrictions, or have been a lot of travel restrictions in place. We're starting to open back up, which is great because we're gonna be heading out to a lot of our favorite places this fall. So that'll be exciting. But before we can do that, we have got to get this place fixed up. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Scott here from Older and Wiser. And if you're new to the channel, we do a lot of RV related content, uh, tips and tricks, travel videos, park reviews, product reviews, things like that. Um, but we're also in the process of fixing up our house, getting ready to sell and hitting the road or finding some kind of a, a large property to settle down onto. So anyway, if those things are interesting to you and you'd like to follow along, you can click the subscribe button below and get notified when we upload new content like this one. So we've done quite a bit here. Um, we'll throw some before pictures around, but basically we're getting ready to sell this thing probably right after the Christmas time holidays and stuff. Um, all the older kids are, are grown and they're gone. We've just got us and the little one. You know, Katie and I both work remotely, so we can go anywhere. So we're gonna maybe hit the road for a little bit um, after we sell the house, find a place to settle down. But we wanted to kind of share some updates all right, so we've really done a lot here with the front landscaping. Really tried to make it more of a minimalistic, easy to care. Um, so we've also done a fresh coat of paint to the trim here, the fascia, and painted our shutters black. They were this weird blue color before, and they were faded from, this house is probably 15, 16 years old now. Um, so they were faded from sun. I'm not sure they were ever painted before. But this black really gives them a, a really sharp contrast. Now, this is all Katie, you guys. She is our designer, our project coordinator, and, and everything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to her because today we're gonna talk a little bit about what we're doing to the inside of the house. Welcome to Operation Ditch the Bricks. Yeah, I made that up, it's totally cool. So a while back, we had our realtor come over to the house and do a walkthrough, and she gave us a lot of ideas and a lot of tips that we can do so that we can get this house sold quickly when we list it. One of those things is to replace the floors. Now, at first glance, the floors don't look so bad, but there's been a few problems here and there. The previous owner did put down some nice stuff, but it wasn't done correctly in a lot of places. So there's some large gaps and some of it starting to kind of lift up in areas. Um, we also have a hole in the carpeting from one of the dogs. And so that's got to get replaced. And we are going with this awesome luxury vinyl planking in this beautiful Asheville color. Um, this is supposed to be waterproof, sturdy, scratch proof. I mean, this is, this is neat stuff. Very, very cool. Um, gets fantastic reviews and it's going to look really, really good. Now we are doing all of the floors on this level. So this hardwood, the carpeting and the linoleum in the kitchen, oh, which is an original to the house and has got to go. It's all getting done with this stuff. So it'll be cohesive throughout the main floor. We're also doing a lot of painting. Now we've already painted most of the kitchen and we painted the living room. They were super dark colors before and it made the house seem dark, which is crazy because we have all of this amazing light and windows. By painting it a lighter color, we get a lot more natural light. So it's looking a lot better and a lot brighter and we just have a few rooms left to go. Another really easy fix that we did is replacing lights. Um, all the lights were original to the house and very outdated. Um, this came from Ikea and it matches the ones that we did in the kitchen and the eat-in part of the kitchen. We replaced the light there in the entryway. This is a pretty great one too. I like it a lot. We also replaced the lights in the hallway and the stairwell with the amazing LED lights that are on dimmer switches. Okay, so the next thing on the we have to paint list is gonna be the stairwell and the banister. I think we're painting the banister black. Um, the stairwell is definitely gonna get painted white. As you can see, 
It's this dark color now, and it looks dark even when the light is on. So once we change that to a nice bright light color, white in this case, it's gonna be very, very filled with light. White reflects light, so it's gonna make it seem very bright and airy. Come on to the kitchen. So ignore the mess because as we are getting rid of furniture, we're also purging stuff. We have a lot of dishes and things that we're getting rid of. So I keep setting things here and getting it out the door. Um, now this week, all of this furniture is gonna be moved out to the garage. We're moving my car out of the garage. We're moving the furniture into the garage so that there will be nothing left in here and the flooring can go down easily. Speaking of in the middle of things and a mess, um, the cat, the kitchen cabinets, uh, it's kind of a disaster right now. You can see I started and I haven't finished yet. The previous owners painted the cabinets, but they didn't prep it correctly. So the paint, uh, the black paint was starting to peel in a lot of places and the cabinets are in great shape. We just have to repaint them. That means stripping them, cleaning them, and then priming. Now, the lower cabinets are all gonna get painted a really pretty navy blue color. The upper cabinets are gonna get painted white. Again, I'm all about reflecting light. And then we're using these smart tiles as a backsplash. It's supposed to be super duper easy to install and very durable. So fingers crossed, um, because I've never used these before and I'm gonna be the one putting them up. <laughs> So that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, if you know anybody that's gonna be looking for a sweet house about, oh, 30 minutes south of St. Louis, give me a call, let me know. <laughs> um, check out the social media. I'll be posting project updates on Instagram and Facebook, so you can find us there. The links are gonna be below. And hopefully we'll be able to have some future update videos and show you the progress as it goes and as it's finished. Finished. I'm so ready to be done with this project. So thank you for tuning in. Leave us a little comment below and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already because it's going to be chaos and everybody loves a little bit of chaos. We will see you next time. Thank you for watching.